Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Detweiler, and I am the Chief Executive Officer for the Kansas City Barbecue Society. And I'm really pleased today to have with me a man who needs no introduction, Myron Mixon. How are you today, Myron? I'm doing great, Emily. How are you doing? I am doing great. I'm doing great. So a lot of the backyard grilling enthusiasts, the people who like to, to get out and try grilling and smoking in their backyard, they're asking us different questions. So one of the questions that we've got would be, you know, give us a couple of ways. So we tell us two or three different ways that you might like to grill or smoke different cuts of beef specifically. What are some of your cuts of beef that you like to to get out there when you're my number, my number one cut of beef uh, is my new fave right now. We teach it. Uh, we started doing it last year in cook school, and we added it to our menu that we teach is uh, the beef ribs, the beef short ribs. Beef short they're ribs. They're awesome. Nice. I mean, I love them. They're awesome. Uh, they're not hard to do. Most of the time when, when people have an issue with them, they stop, they're not cooking them long enough. They're not getting them to a state of doneness and tenderness. And just a quick little uh, brief recipe is I like to cook around 275 degrees on the pit. Then I like to go in and get two hours of smoke on them. Then I pan them. And I pan them on these racks I have. It elevates the meat above the bottom of the pan. If I had two cups of apple juice in it, seal them tight. And I finish cooking them in that pan until the rib gets 210 degrees. That's where people stop short. They always want to do the 205 or 207, kind of like what you do with spare ribs, pork ribs, but you got to take it on up to 210, 212 to get a tender beef rib to be able to bite through. Nice. And of course, my next go-to is always the ribeye steak. Love it. Love I love it. that too. Quick cook, three minutes on the side, medium rare. That sounds great. That sounds great. What about chicken? What's one of your favorite ways to cook chicken at home? We like to do the pieces. I mean, my dad at his takeout barbecue business, he used to do the halves, but I like to go like get an eight piece cut, like you're going to fry. I like to do the pieces. That way, everybody's got their own piece. You know, a lot of times, if you do quarters or you do five, uh, halves, somebody may really don't want the breast, but they'll get the whole half, mm -hmm. eat the leg and thigh, and then they discard the, the chicken breast. So you got waste. So I just cut all the uh, pieces up. If you want a breast, if you want wings, if you want thighs, legs, it's all there. Nice, nice. What about pork? Sometimes people forget about pork and that's awesome and very versatile on the on the grill or the smoker. Tell us about some of your favorite pork dishes. Well, of course, the pork butt, Boston butt, you're looking at a four to five hour cook. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people want to do something quicker at home, especially where well, you got your pork tenderloin where you can do sausage, stuff, bacon wrapped, pork to the loins because it's a quick cook probably an hour to get it done we call it my triple p 